everyone and welcome back. This is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutPost.com and host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Radio broadcast. I wanted to update you, as many of you know, for years we've been exposing the corruption that's been going on within the Veterans Administration, how our veterans, through blood, sweat, and tears, have not only earned their health care, but have not been receiving it. Many of our veterans have died because of the lack of of concern and care by corrupt individuals that were actually located within the Veterans Administration. So it was a very good day yesterday when President Donald Trump signed S-1094 into law. On Friday, June 23rd, 2017, the President signed into law the S-1094, which was known as the Department of Veterans Affairs Accountability and Whistleblower Protection Act of 2017 which makes a number of changes to the Department of Veterans Affairs authorities related to personnel, accountability, and whistleblower protections. And as you know, if you follow my channel, on my previous video, you can see President Trump actually signing this into law. The reason that I bring this up, we are tickled pink that this something is finally being done. And I'm sure as many of you I'm waiting to see the corrupt individuals that were behind a lot of this I'm waiting to see charges be filed against them due to many many of our veterans losing their lives simply because of the corruption that was going on within the veterans affairs however I'm coming to you with a related topic that many of you probably have not heard about and this happened right before President Trump actually signed this bill. So as Freedom Outpost reported on June 23rd 2017 VA fires prominent whistleblower as Trump signs accountability whistleblower protection bill. The Memphis VA Medical Center fired whistleblower Sean Higgins on Thursday which was the day before President Donald Trump signed into law major accountability and whistleblower protection legislation, the Daily Caller News Foundation has learned. In a letter dated Thursday and received by Higgins on Friday, Memphis VA Medical Center Director David K. Dunning stated that Higgins was being terminated for, quote, disruptive behavior and profane language unquote, effective on June 30th. In reaching this decision, your oral and written replies were carefully considered, along with all the evidence developed, Dunning wrote. This decision also takes into consideration the aggravating factors considered by the proposing official in determining an appropriate penalty. I have also considered other factors, including your years of service, your past work record, the seriousness of the offenses with which you have been charged and whether there are any mitigating or extenuating circumstances which would justify mitigation of the proposed penalty, Dunning added. I have concluded that the sustained charges against you are of such gravity that mitigation on the proposed penalty is not warranted and that the penalty of removal is appropriate and within the range of reasonableness. For disruptive behavior, the VA stated that Higgins caused discomfort when he said that they should refer to him as, quote, Mr. Higgins, unquote. The VA also stated that Higgins made comments in the Equal Employment Opportunity Office at the facility that, quote, somebody is going to pay, unquote, and that he was, quote, tired of them messing with me, unquote. The Daily Caller News Foundation reported in May that the VA was initiating action to remove Higgins from the facility 10 days after the commercial appeal profiled Higgins and discussed his whistleblowing at the Memphis VA. Higgins is also known for revealing that the Memphis VA allowed senior interior designer Brittany Lowe to return to work after she sat in jail for 60 days after driving under the influence marking the third time she has been convicted of a DUI. 
Ironically, one of the major cases VA Secretary David Shulkin has cited to justify passing the VA Accountability and Whistleblower Protection Act was the case of Lowe, which Higgins brought to the public light in the first place. The Memphis VA has already terminated Higgins twice, and both times he has been reinstated. He was first terminated back in 2008 and in 2014. He successfully regained his job back after arguing discrimination was at play in the first case. For the second firing in 2014, the Merit Systems Protection Board reversed the VA's action. VA officials had alleged Higgins was acting in a hostile manner. Higgins intends to file a lawsuit against the VA in response to the letter terminating him from his position. The Memphis VA declined to discuss the particulars of Higgins' case, citing privacy laws. Quote, privacy laws prohibit our speaking to any personal, employee-specific use, Willie Logan. Public affairs officers at the Memphis VA told the Daily Caller News Foundation. As a federal agency, we comply with the Office of Personal Management, or otherwise known as OPM, guidelines related to issues involving the work status of employees, unquote. So I guess we will watch as this web untangles and see how well this happens. As always, watch your backs, check your facts. Semper Fidelis, and good night.